So how do you feel about the state of uh, men's open bodybuilding? Um, you know, I, it seems like it was mass monsters were dominating, you know, but then Sean Roden won. And it was more, maybe more towards aesthetics. Right now it's kind of like, we don't really, I don't really know, you know. How do you feel about the, where it's going to go in the future, the body, men's open bodybuilding? Ah, it's tough to tell and uh, hard to see where it's going. But we, um, uh, we, we have uh, a lot of new young guys coming up like uh, Hunter Labrada, you know, um, who else? Uh, Ian Valier, um, you know, I think they could be, um, yeah, a threat, you know, or a new generation, I would say. But right now, I mean, if you if you look at um, uh, this, the, the Olympia last year, I mean, a lot of people complain, you know, it's not the same, but, you know, uh, you know, the, the athletes are still uh, great, you know, it's, it's not just, you know, oh, bodybuilding was dying. No, it's, it's not the case. Um, you know, the, the Korean Mr. Olympia is the one of the greatest um, um, ambassadors for the sport, too. I mean, I was following him over the year right now, and uh, he's doing great. Uh, he is, uh, you know, taking time to answer all his comments or the comments from the fans on Instagram and all the stuff. I mean, he's doing a great job, but in the bodybuilding, I mean, it's, it's hard to, uh, to, to tell, because if you look at Phil Heath, what kind of muscle quality, separation, details he had, you know, and then going to, like, say, Sean Roden, he was a smaller bodybuilder, great separation, everything, great condition, but, you know, if you compare him, I mean, he might win two poses against Phil, you know. So, but Phil wasn't on stage, you know. Sean wasn't on stage. You know, there were guys like William Bonnick, an awesome athlete. Brandon Curry, you know, he won the Arnold uh, before, uh, like six months before the, uh, he won the Arnold, and then he won the uh, Olympia. I mean, I, I, I told him personally, he is developing or he is improving each time he is competing. So, and I'm really looking forward to see him, how he, or what, what he's gonna bring on stage this time. Then of course we have Flex Lewis. I mean, it's, uh, I think is the most, uh, yeah, crazy conditioned guy who could we see on stage, maybe next to Phil. So, and uh, can you imagine bringing him like 15 pounds, 20 pounds, uh, extra mass on stage, you know, he has no, no limit right now. And, you know, he's he's always showing up with excellent condition, you know, he's peeled. So then we have Hadi Chupan. I mean, one of the greatest bodybuilders, I will say, uh, even uh, when, when he was amateur, he looked insane, you know. And um, I will say it's, go uh, it's getting worse. So if you take uh, the lineup this year, I mean, it could be one of the best Olympias if they all show up in great crazy condition you know things like or uh, guys like this um you know sometimes um one year is going not so good and sometimes you know one year you get like top five top six in a crazy condition and then everybody's talking about it you know and then nobody complains uh you know uh, how bad bodybuilding is going to be you know i think it's, it's just it's still there it's it's bodybuilding is still the big show and uh we just need to yeah probably we need to wait a little bit a couple more years and i think um, some of the guys are making huge improvements like i i was in new york uh, in tampa for the new york show um there were a couple of athletes who were great like um what's his name uh justin rodriguez i guess yeah justin he looked amazing i, I thought he was the winner and uh i was uh, watching the pre-judging he, he moved up every time they compared them he, he moved up he moved up and uh, yeah great job <clears throat> and uh yeah um then we saw another guy um i think hassan or something huge muscle bellies uh crazy development uh but he faded a little bit you know also uh antoine Valier, uh antoine what is his last name Valand. from also yes he he's qualified for olympia and also he improved a lot compared to last year or two years, uh, 
Uh, two years ago, he competed last time. I, I don't remember. So, I mean, um, we got to give them time. And they're going to show us a little bit more, I guess. You know, in a couple of years, they're going to be improved if they still, you know, going to keep doing what they do. So, 